Welcome back. I'm Icuno with Sports. The 2016 NASCAR season is here, and the Daytona 500 ends in a photo finish. Maybe the best finish ever at the Great American Race. Ladies and gentlemen, start your engines. In typical Daytona fashion, we saw plenty of caution flags, including this one with just 30 laps to go. That's Dale Earnhardt Jr. losing control. He crashes into an infield wall. His day was over. Luckily, he was okay, but he misses a wild finish. Final lap, final turn. Denny Hamlin and Martin Truex Jr. neck and neck. They hit the finish line, and it's Hamlin who wins by the skin of his teeth. The closest finish ever, the Daytona 500. Well, Dwayne Wade's injured knee hasn't hurt Miami in the win column so far. The Heat are 2-0 without the 12-time All-Star after last night's 20-point win over the Wizards. Hassan Whiteside played just 29 minutes in the contest but made every second count, doing all the dirty work, grabbing 23 rebounds and scoring 25 points. He didn't even start the game. Whiteside did add a couple of blocks as well, and it was all done without D. Wade or Chris Bosh in the lineup. Um, you know, I just try to come in and um, coach, coach after I meet. During our meeting, we was just talking about just bringing energy off the bench. And, um, you know, guys is playing faster. And, uh, you know, we got a couple of brothers down. So, you know, we're going to step up offensively. On the ice, the Florida Panthers are trying to fend off the Boston Bruins for first place in the Atlantic with just 23 games left on the season. Getting healthy is a priority. Yesterday, Jonathan Huberto left the Panthers game with an upper body injury after crashing into the boards. Luckily, the Cats would beat the Jets 3-1, taking a five-point lead in the division. Yarmir Yager netting a pair of goals as he moves into third place in NHL history with 742 career goals. Meanwhile, the Hurricanes baseball season off to a hot start. Today, they sweep Rutgers right out of Coral Gables. The Mark Light shakes were off and running, and so is Miami's pitching staff. Danny Garcia moving through the Rutgers lineup, striking out four batters, allowing just two hits and seven innings of work. Bottom of the six, William Abreu smokes the ball down the left field line to drive in a run. And the very next batter, Johnny Ruiz, drives in Abreu. Ruiz, four for four from the, de from the dish. The run parade would continue. This time, it's Christopher Barr who comes up with a triple to knock in two more. Cades win 8-1, and they're off to a 3-0 start to the season. I wonder if they feel more accomplished when they're covered in dirt at the end of the game. Probably. They'll let <laughs> you know you've been doing some work out there, not just standing. Very around. true. <laughs> All right, that is our news for now. We'll see you again tonight at 11. Have a great night.